All right, hello there, Illegal Forty Five here, and now I'm going to be showing you the uh, third part of my uh, C++ database program, a new one, new improved one. And next, I'm going to be doing the uh, edit function. So uh, pay attention, and we'll be getting started right now. All right, now of course, clear the screen. It's always system CLS. Then uh, you're going to create a bunch of strings string f name I'll go ahead and copy this a bunch of times so I don't have to keep doing it here all right now this one's gonna be M and this one's gonna be L and this one's gonna be name these ones new new f name new M name and new L name, and then you're gonna actually gonna create uh, one more. Actually, I forgot about this one. String decision. We'll, we'll use that here in a second. Then next are the uh, integers. Int your for your ID. Then an int for the age, an int for the new age, then a throw away one I did before, throw away, double for the salary, oops, hold on a second, I need to turn off my touchpad on my laptop so it doesn't keep, doesn't keep doing that. Um, yep. All right, double for the salary, then a double for the new salary. Basically, you have to do that because you're going to use a variable for outputting, uh, for, for inputting from the file, like for the information from that. And then you're going to have a variable to store the user's new name or new salary or whatever. All right, so now see out. Enter, enter the employee ID of the employee that, or I don't know, whose data you wish to edit. All right. Then I'll just put a semicolon there, or a colon there rather, and semicolon. Then C I N um, the E M P I D right there. Then um, convert that to a string like we did before. Equals to to underscore string and put this as the MPID there so it'll create a string for the it'll convert the uh, ID number to a string so you can open the file and then you go EMPID2 dot append and here you put dot txt to put a txt at the end of it. All right. After that, you're going to if stream to input from the file. Um, name it like employee. And in parentheses, you just put emp id two. All right. Um, now a while loop. Uh, it's basically the same thing that we did up in the above one. It's employee. Then actually, I'll just go up and copy it from the other one. Hold on. It's, it's exactly the same, so you won't have to. There we go. All right now. 
Okay, here I can actually copy this whole thing right here. It's uh, I guess I can copy uh, the what if statement. Just hold on. So much of the code can be reused that you, so you don't have to uh, constantly retype stuff. Okay. Um. Oh, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, just use the body of the if statement. Don't forget to actually uh, create a variable for answer. Or no, change that to decision. We're, we, I forgot we made that decision in here. Okay. Then if you, if if the um, uh, user inputs Y, then clear the screen. see out current information there we go and end the line and we're gonna get into the same uh, formatting stuff that we are doing up here actually now. So go ahead and copy this. Move it down to here. Right there. That's fine right there. Now, uh, now we're going to use those same uh, for loops that we used up here. Go ahead and just uh, copy and paste that. No, I uh, need to copy and paste right there, right to there, just to get all those uh, text and for loops. All right, right there. Bump that back to there. Okay, so now that should display the current information. I'll go ahead and test that right now. Edit, edit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, that's why. <laughs> I wish we could do that. I always usually do it at the end, but if I stop in the middle, I need to redo that. Pause. And let's test it here. Yes. All right, so there we go. It displays the information there. Now we'll, we'll work on the editing of it. All right, now after this, we're going to uh, um, uh, see out oh, right there. I think there's put space there to separate it. See out F name. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, I was just, I was just redoing that. It's kind of hard because I'm reading off of my uh, prior code to get this to get this right. So, uh, prompt user to enter new first name. Crap. Hold on. Just a second here. Alright, sorry about that. I had to go and plug in my wireless mic so it uh, didn't die while I was talking. Alright, now back into it. Um, CIN new F name. So the user will input the new first name, store it in that variable. Now, another one for enter new middle name. Then input new M name. All right, so they input the new uh, middle name. Then ask for the enter new last name. And 
ask for the new input. New L name. Store in that. Enter new age. Then CN new age. And the last one you're going to ask for is uh, new salary. Enter new salary. There we go. There is that. And that should be it for that. And I'll just create a if. Decision equals, and I probably should have done this up in the other one, but um, I spelled that wrong. Hold on here. Yeah, never mind. Don't really need it. And then make sure you, uh, Close that off there and put a employee dot close. There's that and uh, actually that should be fine right there. Well, here let's just bump it out outside of that. So, there, like that. Alright, now, uh, since you close that, you can actually uh, OS um, output here, output stream, uh, just call it employee2, because you can't use the same variable inside the same function, so you have to create a new one. Then, uh, MPID2, so it does that. Now, going to uh, do the same like output from employee to um, I'll actually I'll go ahead and copy I'll copy this right here I'll set the um, kind of change some things around put a two there and it's funny each one of these you're gonna put a new New, 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 and new. Now, actually, uh, you have to flip the flip direction of these, so we're going the other way. So the uh, flow is going into the file rather than out. Now, this will write the new information to the file and overwrite the old one. Now, all right. There's that. And that, and that. Put a semicolon there. New throw. Oh, that's right. I don't need that. Hold on. Rather than new throw, just put a emp id right there for that. All right, now. And in that line, just just in case. Okay. Now after that is done, system pause and main. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you do that, employee Wow, I can't type right now. Employee two dot close. Close it so that it'll write. To, if it doesn't close, it won't write to the file. So, then after that, put main. Well, before I do that, let's do this. We'll swap those. Main. So it'll take you back to the main function. All right. Well, let's give it a test here. See if I screwed up somewhere. Alright, edit, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Hold on a second. I'll have to fix this. Just a second here. Alright, I, I got the problem fixed. Now what you need to do is make sure that the uh, whenever you put the information back into the file, that it's in exactly the same order as whenever you took it out, or else it'll cause some data to be mixed up whenever you go back and recall it, and it'll cause some errors and stuff. So make sure it goes first name, middle name, last name, first name, middle name, last name, um, your throw, which is your ID number, your salary, your age, your ID, your salary, your age. All right. So now, if you do have, if that's all right, then you can just go to start debugging. All right. Uh, search. Uh, take a look at the information we have for the prior employee. Uh, yep. So he's that's his name, his age, salary, his ID number. So you go back to go to edit, and you put his ID number in. Uh, you put yes, and all right, it'll ask, show you the information, tell you to input your the new name. So let's just go ahead and say they switched his middle and first name. So his name's first name Sal, Bob Smith, and his age. They got his age wrong. He's 21 instead, and he got a raise of fifty-five thousand dollars. And all right, now let's go back and search that. All right, there we go. So it's all fixed now. That's how it's supposed to be. There's just one little problem in there, one little switched uh, variable that was causing some problems. So all right, now that's uh, it for now. Now in the next video, I'll be making a uh, the display all employees function, which will be right there. So make sure you check out my prior videos if you haven't looked at those yet, and make sure you check out the next one. All right.